It has been quite hot in Sydney over the last few days and it's just expected to get even hotter. The Bureau of Meteorology is forecasting a top of 31 degrees in Sydney today, a top of 33 tomorrow and 34 on Wednesday. And it's expected to be even hotter in Sydney's west. So Penrith and Richmond are expecting the temperature to hit 36 degrees today with similar temperatures over the next few days. And the Weather Bureau says that this heat wave in New South Wales means that temperatures are about 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. And they've also said that this hot weather is persisting for an unusually prolonged period for, for this time of year at the beginning of spring. They say that this hot weather can be quite dangerous for some people, including the elderly, young children and pregnant women as well. So they are advising people to take care in this hot weather and to try to stay as cool as possible. Over the weekend, we saw that heat take a toll on the runners in the Sydney Marathon with about 40 people treated by emergency services. Many of those were for heat exhaustion and 26 people were taken to hospital. Alison, what are authorities saying about the fire threat? Well, the RFS is warning that fire danger is likely to increase in New South Wales over the coming days because of these hot temperatures. We saw over the weekend a quite a large bushfire at the Hunter Valley uh, at Neath near Cessnock and multiple RFS crews were sent to battle that blaze as well as the Chinook water bombing helicopter. That fire was at watch and act level yesterday before it was downgraded to advice level and there are currently about 50 grass or bushfires burning across the state. All of those are at advice level so they're either under control or being controlled by firefighters but the Rural Fire Service is warning that people should be making their bushfire preparedness plans, their survival plans and to make sure they know what they're doing if a bushfire comes near them and they are saying that with temperatures and winds expected to increase over the next few days that the fire danger is also likely to increase.